So we were in Yerangabili, driving out up these gravel roads, and the front engine is making this wacky noise, like, not a good noise. Give your best impersonation <laughs> of the noise. That was great. That was pretty good. <laughs> it, the problem is, is it was slower. It was like... <laughs> The car is broken. Odie's not moving. We are currently here at Southern Trucks Pambula. I'm up here on the deck. Story is, we were up in Kosciuszko National Park driving this way towards the coast. It's about a four hour long drive. The engine starts making this flapping noise. Wake up in the morning, investigate in the light to see what's going on. Nothing. Can't see a thing because it's gone. The pulley that was making the noise had fallen off, so it was just this little bearing that was left. So now the belt that's spinning was just sliding over top of that. And for that reason, the belt was starting to make this burning rubber smell, which that's not good. Looks like it's attached to something important. And to wait through Sunday. We wake up on Monday morning, see this mechanic named Marty at a Shell gas station. And he looks at it and says, nah, can't do anything about that. You should go see these truck repair guys. So we get to the truck repair place, which is another three kilometers out of town and the whole way there, I'm just kind of not closing my eyes, but praying that we'll make it. If we do, he is not a talker. He kind of pokes around for about five, 10 minutes. And all I get out of him, you have to go see somebody else. So here we are, we've got to wait three days for parts. Doesn't help that today is a public holiday in Canberra and in Victoria. So they like to order parts from those places and those places are not sending parts today. It's probably gonna cost us around $2,000. It's disappointing. We're now in Victoria and we've been editing this video for about the past week. What strikes us is how much we didn't film during that time. Basically, we were one week into living in the van. We were learning how to film ourselves. We were learning how to record our adventures and we were learning how to live in the van itself. And we felt completely gypped that that was not going according to plan. Probably what sucked most about that time is we waited two days in Eden for shops to open up. And then now we're in this car yard waiting for three days and the car yard itself is not glamorous. What's worse is that it is two kilometers walk from the nearest toilet and then three k's from the nearest beach and further from anything else to do. And we were tired and cranky and pouty the whole time. In hindsight, what we should have done was film it all. Every single one of those emotions, how annoyed we were feeling and the entire waiting period because that's what makes a good story but it wasn't a complete waste of time. We got up to some interesting things and that's what we want to share with you. Most importantly, we ate some chips. We're gonna see if we can get Odie back up on the road, do some life admin in the meantime, do a lot of walking to try and get to anything worth seeing and hopefully be out of here by Wednesday. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to the local fish and chip shop. Perhaps the best fish and chips in Australia? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. All right, here we go. Friday's chips entered into the contest. That is a lot of salt. Large, very large chips. Longest chip. I always go for the colorful ones. Bless think, you, because I avoid them. Because <laughs> I think extra flavor. Longest chip or scale, here's my hand. We've just finished the chips, so now is the time to give them the rating. From Thane. Easily the humble potato doing its job. Yeah. I'm going to stick with a middle, a middle rating. I think that's the humble potato chip doing a fine job. Well done, Eden. Congrats. Yum. 
We're here in Marimbula and we just came along this boardwalk for a nice little stroll. But we looked out to our left and saw this sea of soldier crabs. There are so many of them, I've never seen that many in my life. And they make this sound when there are so many of them. It's like this shh of them all scuttling together, all following who knows what. My favorite thing is when they want to dig underground and they do the like spiralize down into the ground. That's awesome. So it is day number three of waiting for Odie to get out of the repair shop. The mechanics have received the parts that they need, the compressor and the belt have both come and they're both already on the car. We saw them ourselves with our own eyes. We are just hoping and praying that their contractor gas man will come and re-gas the compressor soon, very, very soon. When the time finally came that Odie was ready to go and she was 100% fixed, it was almost a non-event. We were so tired of being there. We wanted to get back out on the road. And so we basically just left. She's done. She's good to go. Isn't she beautiful? Also, a big thank you to the guys at Southern Trucks Pambula. We really appreciated you fitting us in at such short notice. But in all honesty, we hope that we'd never have to see you again. Mm -hmm.